Welcome to another Nintendo Switch video on the channel and the good news just keeps on rolling on and on for the Switch. So NVIDIA have come out and said that the architecture of the Switch will make it easier for PS4, Xbox One and PC ports. So pretty much the CEO of NVIDIA said the following. Architecture of the chip powering the Switch is similar to what's inside of the PS4, Xbox One and even PCs. This should enable developers to build games that can quickly shift from one platform to another. This includes games that originate on PC, Xbox One and PS4 to Switch. All of these architectures are common in the sense that they all use modern GPUs. They all use programmable shading and they all have basically similar features. Processors will vary in design and capabilities but they still all use a common architectural language. Game developers can target a much larger install base with one common code base. So this is similar to what Scott Moffat had to say about the Switch before he left Nintendo. I did make a video talking about what he had to say in that um, video back in July, I do believe. I will leave a link to that video in the top right. But this is encouraging, but I still don't expect every single third party game to come over to the Switch. I still feel like the Switch will not see all of the third party games that the PS4 and the Xbox One has. I think it will be better than what the Wii U got. Let's be honest, that isn't that much. Like you don't really do you don't really need to do a lot to improve on the Wii U's third party situation. But like I said, I don't think it will approach PS4 levels and Xbox One levels. I think the Switch will still miss out on certain games like GTA, like Red Dead Redemption 2, like Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm just not expecting every single third party game to come over to the Switch. And this is what I have been saying for the longest time now. I don't think the Switch will be that perfect first party and third party machine. But yeah, this is encouraging. I'd rather see the proof in the pudding. I'd rather see what's on the system in terms of third party games. and. Yeah, hopefully this will mean that the Switch's third party support will not just drop off after a couple of years, but maybe maybe third party developers will come up with another excuse if the Switch isn't as powerful as the PS4 and Xbox One, then I'm sure that these developers will use that excuse instead. So yeah, I'd rather see the proof in the pudding, but let's not get away from the fact that this is encouraging. Definitely is better than the Wii U situation where it used a completely different architecture, which made it harder for developers to port their games over to that system. So hopefully we won't see that situation again with the Switch. It seems like that with the Switch, it will be easier for developers to port their games over to the Switch. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. But until next time, I'm out of here for now. Goodbye.